Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, Beatrice Bako, who declared the workshop open, reiterated the need for the nation to be part of green growth that will help Nigeria utilize less carbon, ensure resources, efficiency, and social inclusiveness in her drive for social economic development. He said to achieve this requires the use of appropriate science, technology and innovation as a veritable tool for production of goods and services that are competitive in global marketplace and for mitigation and adoption to impart climate change. Those things we see that are important that will drive Nigerian economy to greater heights, definitely attention will be given to. And I think the transition to green economy is paramount. Nigeria wants to move from where it is to a level where it will be competing in the global market. The DG Energy Commission of Nigeria, Professor Ile Jideri Bala, in a message, noted that a green economy is the only viable alternative to make to meeting the energy needs of Nigeria, whereas meeting the tenets of sustainable development. The DG was represented by Mrs. Adiola Ireli, Renewable Energy Department, expressed confidence that the outcome of the workshop will help the Commission lead the transition to green economy through the deploying of low-carbon technologies such as renewable energy and energy efficiency. Speaking, the facilitator of the workshop, Professor Chukumeriji Okereke, explained the purpose of the event. Today we are doing capacity gap analysis with the uh, Energy Commission of Nigeria, National Biotechnology uh, Agency and the National Board for Technology Incubation. What we want to do is to understand the assets and the gaps in order to be able to design training programs to help to strengthen the capacity in these five agencies and the mother uh, ministry to be able to facilitate green growth technology. Other participants also comment. Each time we go to negotiate for Nigeria and Africa, of course, those of us who are African negotiators, the question has always been, why are we not developed? Why are we not taking the green growth to development? Why are we still taking that part, using fossil fuel that pollute the environment, adopting productive processes that produce products and goods and services that are not competitive in the marketplace? Without energy, there is no way the economy can actually move forward. We need energy to move our economy forward. And in as much we have realized that we are not getting as much as what we need from the conventional energy. There is need for us to go for renewable energy, the green economy. I do expect that the assessment results from the capacity uh, on this uh, green energy should be uh, uh, passed into uh, a policy. And this policy, if, it, if it's well uh, executed, it will impact uh, development of uh, the capacity building. Chris Mario, ITV News, Abuja.